Last week, we asked you to send in comments and pictures about somebody that you trust. This is someone that you might go to if you were feeling anxious or worried, or you just needed a little bit of help. Let's have a look at the ideas that you sent in. This week's excerpt focuses on differences and acceptance. We're all the same, we're all different. It's clear that all people cannot be the same. We're all different because we come from different countries, we speak different languages, we have different personalities and behaviours, faiths and opinions, and we all think differently. Being different is very important because that's what makes us unique and diversity is what enriches our minds and makes the world beautiful. So being unique is the right way. So let's get started. Sometimes, said the horse. Sometimes what? asked the boy. Sometimes just getting up and carrying on is brave and magnificent. How do they look so together and perfect? asked the boy. There's a lot of frantic paddling going on beneath said the horse. The greatest illusion, said the mole, is that life should be perfect. Is it the moon? asked the boy. It's a teacup stain, said the mole. And where there's tea, there's cake. Be curious. Life is difficult, but you are loved. So you know all about me? asked the boy. Yes, said the horse. And you still love me? We love you all the more. Sometimes I think you believe in me more than I do, said the boy. You'll catch up, said the horse. The fox never really speaks, whispered the boy. No. And it's lovely that he is with us, said the horse. To be honest, I often feel I have nothing interesting to say, said the fox. Being honest is always interesting, said the horse. There's something I haven't told you, said the horse. What's that? asked the boy. I can fly, but I stopped because it made other horses jealous. Well, we love you, whether you can fly or not. Okay. Is your glass half empty or half full? asked the mole. I think I'm grateful to have a glass, said the boy. We don't know about tomorrow, said the horse. All we need to know is that we love each other. When the dark clouds come, keep going. When the big things feel out of control, focus on what you love right under your nose. This storm will pass. Hello everyone, we are now on video six and this week we have heard how sometimes what is right in front of us is not always the full story. Remember how the swans look so graceful and beautiful on the surface and yet they are paddling like crazy underwater to get to where they want to. A bit like us sometimes, when we show our outside more than what we might be feeling on the inside. And we don't always know what is happening on the inside for others either. We don't always have the full picture or all the information in a situation. And did you see this week how the mole spotted a teacup stain and was able to help us to see that a really helpful way of seeing the messy teacup stain was that there might in fact be cake to go with it. How we view and interpret situations can influence how we feel about life. If we practice the way we see things, then we can be just like the mole and, and start to see much, much more cake. 
much more sweet stuff, but it does take practice. We can see this week that the fox is encouraged and although he doesn't say very much, he is loved by his friends and that his honesty is appreciated by them. What I found so helpful this week was that the horse actually had an amazing part of him that had stayed hidden and shut away. When the horse felt loved and knew he could trust those around him, then he was able to be just who he was and fly the way he always could, but had stopped as he had paid more attention to what others had to say rather than be who he was. The horse was unique, just like you and I are unique. There is not another single one of you in the whole universe, so we need you and me to be our totally unique selves. This week, I wondered if you can think of some of the things which are unique to other animals. Draw us a picture of any animal and tell us what makes that particular animal unique compared to a lot of the other animals. Once you've finished your drawing, think about the things which make you unique and the things about you which can be celebrated and admired, like you did with the animal. It's been great to speak to you again and I'm already looking forward to speaking to you for our final video on the book later this week. Be awesome this week. Take care. Bye.